In this video, we're going to set up the electronics and hopefully have a rolling chassis by the end of the video. Now let's throw a throttle servo in there. So here's a throttle servo. Or even comes with an aluminum servo horn. I got the throttle servo installed. Uh, don't ask me why, I usually don't bother, but Today I thought, why not? I'm using the, the servo grommets, and this is what we chose for steering. This is the Protec 170 TBL. I've got the SBL in my Truggy, and it's uh, it's been a great servo. So let's open this up and have a look. This servo is just a beauty. Full aluminum case, detachable servo, servo lead. I'm just gonna check the fitting of this because every servo I've had with the detachable lead, for whatever reason, I've had to alter the uh, setup slightly. So let's just check how it fits. So that fits in nice. But as I thought, if you can see down here, I gotta do some trimming because it uh, doesn't quite uh, clear the port. Not my finest work, but it'll do. Since we won't be using this, just cover it up. Here's the switch. And like a good Samaritan, I'm recycling. I took a couple of these hex screws out of that original second speed gear. And to go with everything here, I got a Spectrum SR215. This is a three channel. Uh, we're gonna be binding it to my uh, Spectrum DX5C. And now I gotta figure out how to bind this mess. Well, I cut the camera because I thought it was gonna be a nightmare, but she bound like nothing. So now I'm just gonna connect the steering servo. Uh, it's gonna be like right close to the receiver. Luckily, it comes with two leads. So I'm gonna go with the smaller one to take up less space. Before I plug it in, I'm just gonna add a little bit of dielectric grease. So we got a power source, trying to switch on. That works. Let's see if you'll be able to see uh, steering. This one's got a nice little dot here. Oops. Just needed a break in, I guess. Did you hear that? It was loud and then shut up. So the next thing we got here is the steering assembly. Uh, it, it already comes stock with a heavy-duty servo, ser servo saver spring, which is pretty cool. And I've got this uh, FLM, uh, they call it a steering brace. Stick, it's to take the place of, uh, I guess this is actually called a steering Ackerman, but, um, and I don't think this is needed, but I got it here, so we'll try it. Why not? So we got another goodie for our steering linkage assembly. Got a clamping style aluminum servo horn by Protec. And does it have to be aluminum and clamping? Yes, it does. I'll show you. So we you get your aluminum material. That's just gonna prevent it from stripping. And here we have 
a regular just an aluminum servo horn so say for example you're you're out uh, bashing around your screw comes out and then oh no servo horn comes off and you either have a runaway or your day's shot anyways because you can't play anymore check out the advantage of a clamping servo horn so we got the same instance You're driving around oh no my screw came undone that ain't going nowhere i don't know how many times i've uh, gone for a run come back that screw is missing but she's still locked and loaded that's solid that ain't going anywhere. Throw a nylock nut on there and she's uh, locked and loaded. That's not going anywhere. Now we just gotta throw this in. And uh, by the way, we're gonna be ditching these little plastic bushings and be installing bearings. Hey, so it's been a few weeks since I filmed the last part of this video. So I'm gonna try not to show too much of the truck because I kind of moved forward and film the next video of this series. Uh, I got the stuff here to finish up this video. So we are waiting on the spindles. I finally got the spindles. Um, I got some links. Whoa, there's a hole in this bag. I got some links off of a Techno NB48 2.0, I think. We're going to use these as uh, turnbuckles. And I have these uh, shock boots off of a TLR 8T 3.0. I'm going to see if I can make these fit the uh, shock shafts uh, just to protect them because I uh, spent all that money on upgraded shocks. I uh, kind of want to take care of them. So I think these will fit uh, and we're soon going to find out in this video. So stay tuned and uh, let's get cracking. And there we have it, we have the front uprights on, the turnbuckles on, installed shock shaft protectors on the shock shafts, and we have the servos and electronics installed. To be continued.